Hello everyone and welcome to a really cool unboxing video. I'm really excited. Here today I am unboxing a Dell U2412M monitor. So, um, rough quick specs of this monitor. It's a 24 inch display, it's LED, it's an IPS panel, and it has a resolution of 1920 by 1200 so that is a 16 by 10 resolution, uh, 16 by 10 aspect ratio, sorry. So, um, why have I got this monitor? Well, a few of you noticed that I had a Mac running in my vlog up in the studio, and a few of you got excited, you thought I'd bought an, a Mac Pro for the studio and stuff. That's not the case. Um, I just have my MacBook Pro running in desktop mode, which is how I'm gonna be using my studio for um, probably, uh, a good couple of months so I can get the funds together for a dedicated studio desktop. Um, but I need a decent monitor for that and um, the one I was using was a Hans G something or other 17 inch uh, VGA only monitor with a resolution of 1440 by 900 and it's also a 16 by 9 monitor. So it's really not my style of monitor even though it's a fairly decent display uh, for just a, like a backup or something handy like I keep it in the cupboard and whenever I need a spare display I pull it out and it's you know does the job but um, it's generally not a good display so I thought let's splash out to get a decent monitor and uh, I went for this one so as I mentioned it is an IPS panel um, but it is a lower end IPS panel from what I can work out um, from reviews and stuff um, but I've never had a monitor even close to this class so to give you an idea my two main monitors downstairs are Dell Ultrasharp 2009 W's and they are just standard TN panels I think um, they have a resolution of 1680 by 1050 so this has a, a much nicer resolution and of course the screen is bigger as well so that's really nice um, so first things first, we're presented with a DVI cable. That's fantastic. Um, I'm not going to use that yet because of course I don't have a desktop, but what I did order was a mini display port to DVI cable. Um, so lucky I've got that because I've got a mini display port to VGA cable running my monitor at the moment. Uh, next thing we have is a VGA cable. I literally have far too many of those and it was kind of a pain in the ass. Uh, we have some instructions and whatnot. Before I continue actually guys, I want to mention that this is a B grade item. I believe it's been manufacturer refurbished. So this monitor retails for about 240, 250 pounds and I got it on eBay for 160 or 170. So I'm really pleased with that. Um, so what I'm gonna do is flip the box upside down. And hopefully lift this off. Okay, let's see what we've got here then. By the way, in this unboxing video, I'll also be setting it up, so that's kind of exciting. Um, okay, so we have a UK power lead and we have a USB lead for the built-in USB hub. Very handy, very, very handy indeed. And then I believe that is, ooh, hang on a sec. There we have the stand, awesome stuff. Slightly different stand design to my monitors downstairs because uh, this is a lot newer. And then we have the panel itself. So, let's pull this up and get rid of this polystyrene. Okay, so let me get a slightly better angle. One thing I will say about um, this display is it seems to be very, very light. So that's quite cool. I believe that's a characteristic of LED displays. Um, but I'm no expert, so, you know. Let's 
So here's the stand, looking very nice. I believe this is pretty much just as adjustable as the older Dell stand, so that's really cool. And let's get the panel actually on the stand. Like I keep saying, very, very lightweight. Really nice. Okay. I believe we can just literally pop it straight on. Hang on, I'm gonna lie the panel down and put the stand on it actually. Sorry about this dodgy angle guys, but once it's on, it's on. There we have it. My monitor is on the stand. Now let's quickly take off Wow, very nice 24 inch uh, matte display 16 by 10 aspect ratio I couldn't have asked for anything more really sleek monitor so I'm going to put this off to one side and uh, point the tripod at my desk, point the camera at my desk rather and uh, we're gonna set down the old one and set up the new one. Okay so there's my old monitor that I'm gonna unplug right now. Um, like I said it's just that kind of monitor that I keep handy in the cupboard for sort of emergencies so that'll be going back downstairs um, along with this cable I suppose. This uh, mini display port to VGA will probably come in handy also. I'll leave this kettle lead up here to run the new monitor because I don't need to open another kettle lead. Um, even though I do need another kettle lead for some other equipment that I've got, so that's actually worked out quite well. Okay, so that's that cable down there. Let me just unplug it from my MacBook Pro as well. Here we have it, the very short-lived on my setup, uh, mini display to VGA. Really glad that I'm upgrading though because, uh, I don't know, just this monitor, you know, it did fine, but it's just so tiny and it was kind of hard to see actually. Okay, let's throw the new one up there, see what it looks like. Look at that, that is a total beast. <laughs> wow, check that out guys, that is just an absolute monster of a display. 24 inch, I've never really experienced that. <laughs> that wow, that's really, really nice. Um, let's start cabling it up then. Now, surprisingly, I'll tell you guys an interesting story. I was actually going to buy two 4x3 19 inch Dell displays, older ones, uh, with DVI and dual screen um, two 4x3 displays. But um, I just saw this one and I thought, damn, that's such a good deal. Uh, I, just, I just really couldn't leave it there. And I'm glad I went for it actually because um, this will, pro this will probably be a lot better in the long run. So, it has indeed got one of those stands with a hole in that you can pop your cable through. Which is very nice. The USB hub will also be handy for in here because as you guys know, my MacBook Pro has only got three USB ports. It's the 17 inch model so it's got three which is quite nice. I believe some of the, I believe the 15 inch um, the same generation as mine only had two, I believe. So let's just plug that in there. There we go. And also, let's get the USB cable on the go. 
It's really nice of them to include a DVI cable as well, especially in a, um, in a B grade item. But as you guys may or may not remember from my unboxings of my other Dell monitors, all of them have been B grade. I've never bought a brand new monitor, but they've all appeared brand new, which is really good. So if I get any kinds of problems with this, I still have a one year Dell warranty, which is quite comforting. Um, of course, one year isn't the greatest warranty. You know, it's nothing to really write home about, but um, it's still definitely not bad at all. It's better than no warranty at all. Okay, let's feed this USB cable through the back. And plug it straight into my MacBook Pro. Because I can then plug the keyboard and mouse into the bottom of the monitor and that will make life a lot easier. And that will give me a spare USB port down on my MacBook Pro as well, which is handy. And of course two additional USB ports on the side of the monitor for things like flash drives and that, so I am totally spoilt for choice. Which is a great feeling actually. Right then, so they're the three cables that I'm plugging into the bottom of the monitor, and also I'm going to feed through um, the two USB cables for my keyboard and mouse. So that brings the total up to five cables that I'm plugging in the bottom of here. And what I'm going to do, because that's going to take me ages to find all the right, um, all the right receiving ends and whatnot, I'm going to pause the camera and then fire the camera back up when I'm ready to uh, turn the display on. So everything's plugged in, I've just booted up my Mac and uh, as you can see that's displaying the Apple logo. Really nice. Looking good, also looking really big, which I like. Just really looking forward to seeing the beastly resolution. Same resolution as my MacBook Pro. <laughs> so the good thing about that is when I then unplug my MacBook Pro and take it somewhere, then all the windows won't resize stupidly or something like that. It's going to be really nice to have uh, a what to use a monitor like this. Okay, so uh, we're going to go into the appropriate account. Type in the appropriate password. And I think what I'm going to do, guys, is open a logic session just to see how much uh, space we get on the screen because, yeah, this resolution is top notch gorgeous. Um, so let me just jump into system prefs and have a quick little look at the display settings. Uh, display. Resolution best for display is scaled. There you go, 1920 by 1200. That's really, really cool. Okay, so um, let me launch Logic. Guys, I am not gonna lie, that, it, that is such a crystal clear picture. Oh my gosh. That is looking wonderful. Really, really pleased with that. Okay, continue. All right, so that's pulled up some project that I've got with a nice lot of tracks. And as you can see, that is a lot of screen space. Really nice. And even if I pull up the mixer, yeah, you can see that um, I've just got tons and tons of space with this resolution to, uh, to play around with. So that is really nice. I, everything is also crystal clear. Um, glad the cable works as well. Yeah, everything's really, really nice. Looks perfect. So guys, I think that's a successful purchase. Um, of course, time will tell with things like monitors and whatnot. Um, but yeah, that's my first... That's my first... Um, IPS monitor. First LED monitor. First... 24 inch monitor so you know I'm definitely going up in the world it's really nice to have a screen this size 
Um, the difference between 20 inch and 24 inch is just absolutely mega. But um, yeah, that's really, really nice. Um, of course, I've got no space for another one up there, but that's kind of good because that'll stop me from spending too much money. And um, yeah. Wow, I'm just really, really pleased with that. Looks absolutely fantastic. So, uh, thanks very much for watching, everyone. Hope you've enjoyed this unboxing and setup video of the Dell. Let me find the model number. <laughs> Dell U2412M. So, uh, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.